Tapanga na mweshimu wa Mejadong Wakuje diyo tukue na nafasi ya kuongea Let's pause there Tumekubalian The deputy president is saying he wants to listen to those people So that together they can talk Is that the, what he's saying? Ambayo ni kitu watu mkua tumehaidi ya itafanyika kwa serikali yetu No, no, you didn't get my question, Mr. Mutuse. Please be a good listener just as you answer my questions. The deputy president is saying he wants those to, to, to sit with the Honorable Madong, I didn't get the name right, eh? and those people so that they can sit and talk. Is that what he's saying? In context, yes, that's part of it. Is there anything wrong with that statement? There's nothing wrong with people sitting. The deputy president is also saying that they had promised during the campaigns that they will not be demolishing people's structures. Is that what he's saying? Yes, he's saying that. Is there anything wrong in that promise? There is nothing wrong in that promise. As an active member of the Kenyan political space, is he lying that there was such a promise? I wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. Let me start by asking this question. It is your claim that the deputy president has amassed a humongous property portfolio estimated at 5.2 billion shillings. That's uh, ground four. It is not. So that. My apologies, ground seven. My apologies for that. I'm sorry for that. Ground seven at page 17. My apologies for that. Yes, it is our allegation, and we have justified it in our evidence in chief. Who gave you this value of 5.2 billion? We said estimated at 5.2 billion, and we have. Yes, who gave you that estimate value of 5.2 billion? We have made the additions. Sorry? It's a matter of additions. So, we will, you are saying that when we take you through these values, you will get a property value of about 5.2 billion? Approximately 5.2 billion, yes. You said you made the additions. Additions result into a definite figure, Mr. Mutuse. Although you are a lawyer, mathematics are pre-qualification for studying law. <laughs> there, there, there are two things. One, there, there is the are you saying that when we do those additions, there is, there is we will get an 5.2 billion? There is the stated value in the sale agreements and in the acquisition documents. That's what I'm saying. Are you saying when we add those values, we'll get 5.2 billion? I will also be telling you what, in my view, are the values of some of the properties. Oh, what, in your view, are the values of some of the properties? Yes. You have graduated from a lawyer to a valuer now, isn't it? That's not exactly what you're saying. Okay, what thank you. View, Using what expertise did you attach that value in your view? Well, market value. I'm sure you also know land in Kitale, an acre goes for four million, land in Kilifi, an acre goes for two million, and if it goes beyond that, it's a reasonable man's test. And that reasonable man is you? Indeed. Thank you. So, I was proceeding for you to stop me to deal with Vipingo and I've dealt with it. I hope to your satisfaction. Are you satisfied? We can proceed. Heartland Supplies Limited, what problem do you have with it? Mm, if you could remind us, that was page? Oh, sorry, page 20 of 85, company number 14. Volume 1, eh? Volume 1, volume 1, yes. Can you move that Company number? Number 14. Company number 14, just to confirm we are on the same page, this is Heartland Supplies Limited. Yes. We have no quarrel with Heartland Supplies. Page 21, paragraph 17, Mothers of the Land Limited, what problem do you have with it? We have no quarrel with Mothers of the Land. Number 18, Pioneer Medical Kenya Limited, what problem do you have with it? We don't have a problem with it. Overleaf, page 22. Read of Furniture Mart Limited. What problem do you have with it? We do not have a problem with it. Royal Crimson Ventures Limited. What problem do you have with it? No, no, not at all. Technical Supplies and Services Limited. What problem do you have with it? We do not have a problem with it. You listed all these companies just to create a screaming headline for your motion with no problem with them. We created, we listed all these companies to show that they are associated with persons close to the deputy president and that they are companies that are 
either used or can potentially be used for purposes of corruption and money laundering. Okay. They can potentially be used. The DP intends to use them in future. So this motion is preventive. Indeed, we are addressing fears. You have come here to address fears that DP may use this company in the future to commit corruption. Indeed, yes. That's why you want this Senate to impeach the DP on this ground. We have also shown... Now, that's why you want this Senate eh, to impeach the DP on this ground. There are, there are some that we have shown have been I'm, used. I've, I've, I've taken through a number of companies, Mr. Mutuse. I've taken a number of companies, yes. but one by one. Yes. You have said you have no problem with them. We have no problem with the ones that we have said we have no problem with. His Excellency Rigathi Gashagwa bullied Kenya Medical Supplies Agency officials into awarding a tender for the supply of mosquito nets to Crystal Kenya Limited. Was Crystal Kenya Limited a bidder for this tender? Crystal Kenya Limited is a local... I've asked, was it a bidder for this tender? It is a local representative... Of is it a bidder for this tender? By the way, let me now ask you basic questions. Do you know the meaning oh, of the word oh, bidder? Oh, no, bro, it is not a bidder. Yeah, we make progress. We respond, we make progress. Hmm? So let's read the, the allegation, the particulars. Yes. yes. It says, His Excellency Rigati Gashiagwa bullied Kenya Medical Supplies Agency officials into awarding a tender for the supply of mosquito nets to Crystal Kenya Limited. Was Crystal Kenya Limited, in fact, awarded that tender? They were, they were not a bidder. Were they, in fact, awarded that tender as your ground alleges? No, they were not. So why are you alleging that they were bullied into awarding the tender? Why are you alleging when they were not awarded? They are uh, the local representative. I'm asking why are you alleging that they were bullied into awarding, being awarded the tender? Because they are the local representatives of Shobika, the company that is under investigation for this tender. Your ground says, huh? His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa bullied KEMSA officials into awarding a tender for the supply of mosquito nets to Crystal Kenya Limited. Paragraph, no, page 19, company number five, the Anansi Collective. What problem do you have with it? You are skipping Vidingo and Kobito. <laughs> you want to control my cross examination? Yeah. Oh, Honorable Mutose, just respond to what counsel you can Anansi Collective, we do, not have, we do not have problems with that one. Biovet Kenya Limited.